Good morning, dear friends. Today I am going to talk on a subject called the Multiculturalism in India, a wonder to the world. Multiculturalism is defined as the state of coexistence of diverse cultures. Culture includes racial, religious, linguistic, etc., which may have differences and distinctions in customary behaviors, cultural assumptions and values, patterns of thinking, and communicative styles. It also aims at the preservation of different cultures and their identities within a unified society as a state or nation. This universe is a big concert or symphony, a harmony of diverse notes. All creations play their role in concordance, but man tries to play discordant notes, stands against the rhythmic flow of the system. I have created a poem and published it in my collection of poems, Multicultural Harmony. The poem is entitled Multicultural Symphony, from which I am quoting a few lines. Multiplicity and diversity, essence of universe. From atom to the heavens, multiculturalism reigns. This unity in diversity makes beauty of universe. Human beings can't live independent of non-human beings or plants. Hence, when we try to eliminate or destroy non-human beings and plants, we are eliminating ourselves from this planet. Now, I am quoting again from the same poem, Multicultural Harmony. You may live here, let other things also live. Since you are selfish and greedy, you take more than what is due to you. Other beings struggle for necessities, whereas you are after comforts and luxuries. You become rich, pushing hundreds of your neighbors to the abyss of starvation. Your greed for delicacies extinguishes other beings. Your greed for luxurious shelters exterminates trees and forests. Your construction mania defies the sky and topples the climate. You turn your villages to towns and become more and more civilized, but less and less cultured. Your indiscriminate felling of trees chased away old birds. Many have become extinct now. In place of cuckoos and nightingales which allowed you to sleep, mosquitoes disturb your slumber through injections and drops. Now, coming to another point of my paper, multiculturalism in India, particular. India is the best example of multicultural society where people speak 122 major languages and 1,599 other languages. Unity in diversity is the beauty of India, and the Indian constitution assigns equal rights, privileges, and duties to all people irrespective of gender, caste, class, community, language, and religion. The Indian society has been multicultural, multi-religious, multi-racial, multi-ethnic, and multilinguistic from time immemorial. People of India show clear distinctions in their physique, dress, language, food habits, religious practices, and rituals. This unique 
unity of India in the midst of multicultural diversity and enjoying unlimited freedom as the largest democracy in the world is the beauty of India which is a wonder to the world. Now, let me quote again from the same poem, Multicultural Harmony. Dear my fellow beings, you boast of your culture, you boast of your language. Is there any culture which is not hybrid? Is there any language which is not mixed? How many millions have been killed in the name of culture? Look into the pages of history. Most of the wars have been waged for the supremacy of culture. Conquest of cultures over cultures, amalgamated to a multicultural world. How much Indian is an Indian? None can give answer, save who boasts of any nationality. National feelings and patriotism are being devoured by the monster of religion. The present generation seems to forget the fact they are citizens of the country, the land which gave them birth and sustain and protect till they go back to the very same land. Thus, national feelings and affiliation shall be uppermost of all other narrow feelings of religion community, language, region, etc. India being a multicultural, multilingual country, we should respect other languages and their literature. Very often, vernacular writers complain that existence and use of English is a hindrance for the growth of regional languages. Such an antagonistic attitude to English is never fair as English is the only lingua franca which knits all Indians together. The multicultural unity of the world should ultimately lead to the concept of Vasudeva Kudumbaga, which means that the world is certainly one family. Hence, the goal of every country and people in this world should be to live as a member of this big family. Let me wind up my paper with a, another quotation from the very same poem, Articultural Harmony. Dear my fellow beings, break away all fences and walls, fences of your petty minds, Compound walls of your houses, walls of your religions and castes, boundaries of your native states, and ultimately borders of your nations. Let there be no India, Pakistan or China, America, Africa, Europe or Australia, but only one nation, the world, where every being lives in perfect harmony as one entity in multicultural world. Thank you, thank you very much.